All right, area of the trapezoid. If you saw the first video, we're gonna try this again, see if it's a little bit better. Less than 75. So we know parallelograms, that includes squares, rectangles, uh, rhombuses. We know that their bases are the same because they have two sets of parallel sides. But since trapezoids only have one set of parallel sides, the bases are not the same. So instead of just doing base times height, we can't do that because the bases aren't the same. So what we do is we find the average of the two bases and then we multiply by the height. So this, it makes sense to me, I don't know about to you, but instead of just doing, um, using one of the bases or choosing, we find the average, then multiply. So we end up with the, the um, formula, area equals one half, B1 plus B2 times H. And isn't that just adding the bases, then dividing by two to find the average? That's all that is. So let's start with our very first example. B1 and, go back please. B1 and B2 are 8 and 24, which is 32. Half of that is 16, and then we multiply by 12. Now, I'm just going to give this little plug to distributive property. I don't know 16 times 12 like that. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. But if I do 10 plus 2, I know 16 times 10, and I, do, I know 16 times 2. So that makes it easier to solve, and then, of course, feet squared because it's area. But um, the biggest thing to know is that you're adding them together and then halving or dividing by two. Next, they don't even give us the actual trapezoid. They just tell us the bases are 12 and 18 and the height is eight. So 12 plus 18 is 30. Half of that is 15. Then multiply by 8, and that's 8 times 10 plus 5. I'm going to keep doing this until you like it. 80 plus 40 equals 120 centimeters squared. And that's trapezoids. All you have to do is add the bases, divide by 2. And let's make it very clear the bases are the two that are parallel to each other, not the other two. All right, have a good day. Good luck.